great impulse buy. This thing just seemed to follow me home. Check out this engineering masterpiece. So it's the standard oil pump drive shaft, threaded on one end for a sprocket with a tang on the other. And what I've done is I've shrink fit each end into this small bush I made up on the lathe. So I'll show you how I did that. So here's the two parts. Surface finish is a bit different on each one as for the first one I used that hardened turning insert and it actually needed a bit of emery tape and it ended up pretty average. The second one I used an aluminium insert and it was beautiful. I could even take a spring pass at 0 0.01 millimeters and still make a clean cut without any rubbing. So we'll look at the dimensions. Looks like we're working with 5.04, it's not ideal. Five oh four on that one and five oh three or five oh two on this one. Just have another two three four. So what we'll do is we'll run a bit of a file down. It's it's got a bit of a taper, probably from the stick out. So I just went over to the lathe and filed off a whisker, seeing as I couldn't get it running concentric again. And for the most part, it's within spec. So now it's time to make the intermediate part. So this here is my hardened steel turning insert, courtesy of AliExpress. Allegedly, it'll turn 60 plus Rockwell hardness steel, and it did manage to cut through the case harden on the crank pin. And here is my aluminium turning insert with a massive positive rake, which does an awesome job on finishing passes on this material. If you take too big of a cut though, it just burns the end out fairly quickly. And here you can see I'm just test fitting to see what the diameter will look like pressed in. So I'm just going by eye here. Obviously I don't want to make the bush too thin as when I press the part in it won't squeeze as hard onto the shaft or at least in theory anyway if the wall thickness isn't thick enough it'll just stretch. And in lieu of owning a reamer of any kind, I'm hoping that this drill bit drills something close to 5mm. Fingers crossed. So here's the part, push off the lathe, the hole going through the middle is 5mm, oh here's hoping, we'll have a quick measure now, that's what we get, it was hot when I drilled the hole so that might account for this and the fact this won't measure true diameter. What I'm going to do Let's heat this up with the blowtorch and then see if I can drop this in.
And here I bring the solution to the problem, an even bigger hammer. And as you can see, this didn't quite go as smooth as I anticipated. But here is the final lengthened shaft sitting in the engine, spinning freely, so should be all right for now, although I don't really trust it too much. I think it might get replaced with a custom-made one-piece item later. Now all that I need to do is mark the link that needs to be removed and then I can whip it in the vise and grind the link off with an angle grinder. Oh yes, I did just grind that with a cutting disc. 100% not the correct tool for the job, but it was already on the grinder I was feeling lazy and it was in the end some pretty light duty grinding. So here I was thinking this chain breaker I got for a couple of dollars was a complete piece of shit. Well, actually it still is a complete piece of shit, but at least it separated this tiny 25H chain. suspect of that I don't really like that I'll probably end up getting something to rivet over but this will work in the meantime Let's see how it goes I'm going to undo these two Applying a little bit of tension, that actually looks pretty average. So what I'm going to need to do is actually tension it up over probably a greater radius, like so, make a little tensioner doohickey, probably out of nylon or something. Although it is going to have a little bit of space, about 3 mils for the two head gaskets and Two base gaskets so this should put a little bit more tension on the chain making less of a job for the tensioner although I do want as much engagement around the crankshaft sprocket as possible just to avoid any slipping is it does it run on a spring do I run some sort of here against there, I've got another one of these. Do I mount this here somehow on a? Do I make something up that this mounts on? You know, about there. Looks a bit difficult though to be done on centre. Um, do I just go for a, a bush? Or do I just go ahead and make something like this? I'd probably make this out of nylon and that bush there would be steel. 
and it will fit like so onto a piece of sheet steel, probably four or five mil with a slot in it that can rotate around and be tensioned. So as you can see when it's tensioned. As always, if there's anything you'd like to see, just make sure to ask down below in the comments. And I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed the video to give it a like and consider subscribing. Cheers.